Sri Lanka is continuing to grapple with the medicine shortage as well. Did poor management result in this situation? The Parliament's Committee on Public Accounts has revealed that the quality of medicines worth 6.2 billion rupees had dropped as they were not stored properly. This had taken place between 2011 and 2020. The Committee on Public Accounts said 99% of the medicines had been administered to patients although their quality had been compromised. Authorities have not been able to recover the cost of substandard drugs from suppliers. The Committee on Public Accounts had revealed these details in a report table to the Parliament. The committee said the Health Ministry does not have a system to inspect the quality of medicines as soon as it is received. At a media briefing, Dr. Jairuan Bandara, the Secretary of the Medical and Civil Rights Professional Association, said some hospitals don't have surgical sutures, urinary catheters and nasogastric tubes. Views were expressed at a media briefing regarding the medicine shortage today. There are no medicines for cancer patients who are on the verge of death. There is no tenecteplase or streptokinase for people with heart ailments. There is no anti-rabies medication in the case of a dog bite or anti-venom medication used for a snake bite. There are no life-saving drugs. The country doesn't have 142 drugs. Was this discussed in parliament? Did they allocate time for this?